Hey, you're at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris. This is an engine, uh, a 416 cubic inch uh, LS3 29 Whipple supercharged engine. We just got done for uh, Eddie's custom uh, auto. And uh, this is for one of his customers, for one of the custom cars they're building. Now, they're going to, uh, um, they've actually ground and done some polishing on, on the block and head. So I think they're going to be doing some paint work and whatnot on this. And then uh, doing something maybe even a little bit different on covers. And this gear, or this uh, front dress is actually just my dyno dress. So they're going to actually build some, uh, some more custom stuff and kind of make this thing really cool. So it's going to be a pretty neat looking deal. Now, this is also, um, this has a set of our new uh, CNC ported LS3 head and our new um, stage two uh, hydraulic roller blower cam. Uh, that's one of our shelf cam shafts. This thing is pretty good. Uh, notice the horsepower at what kind of boost this thing makes too. So like I said, 416 cubic inch, 2.9 Whipple. Um, our rotating assembly, and this is our normal normal package. So this is our 940 horsepower, 950. We can make more uh, pump gas uh, LS platforms. Really nice, really good piece. Uh, and like I said, this is with our new CNC ported heads and uh, camshaft, uh, stage two camshaft. Uh, this thing's pretty good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go out and we're going to make some uh, pulls on this thing. And what I'm actually going to show you is the difference in between uh, this uh, customer wants to have this thing actually make less torque and uh, you know wants the maximum horsepower range. And so what we've done is we have put this thing on key switch. Now this is all temporary wired, of course. Here's the key switch. So this has different key positions for different tune-ups. So just to change horsepower level, just by flipping the key switch. And we can uh, make all that stuff happen for you on the Holly system. This is, of course, Holly EFI, um, all of our good stuff here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera down, we're gonna go out there, and then I'm gonna show you the horsepower level, which is really good for the boost level this thing is making, and knowing that we can make more by pulling this thing down. And then uh, I'll show you the horsepower levels of all the different key switch tunes. So let me go put the camera down and uh, we'll uh, make a hit. show you the uh, horsepower numbers. I'm going to show you a bunch of different stuff here. Back away from the camera a little bit. On that pole right there, now this is after I've done all the testing and uh, so it's actually well, it's gotten a little bit better right there but um, you can see that this thing makes a 953 horsepower at 8 pounds of boost. That is, uh, that's pretty rocking right there really nice really good it's still climbing up through here but you know given what we're trying to make horsepower it, it would level off pretty reasonable right through this area and that's just because the mild hydraulic roller stuff we have in it uh i can build all sorts of high rpm stuff if you want it but um you know it in particular application sensitive however you want it but it'll run up to 7,000. but it just kind of plateaus out there so there's not a lot of uh use in trying to just kill parts or whatever uh 888 uh, 86 foot pounds of torque on this pole, but let me show you the other poles Where uh, let me save this thing here and then we'll go right over to uh, uh, Back to my other pole. I have saved out here for you showing all the Poles all together so there's four key switch tunes that you can select from. So this is no pulley change, no nothing. Shut the car off, 
turn the key switch, start the car back up. Boom, different power level. All right, so let me show you, give you a good illustration of what this is uh, doing. All right, so, and I'll give you the actual numbers here, but we can look at the graph and it's pretty easy to tell. So the first time uh, uh, that we ran this, I, it only made nine, uh, 948. So, I mean, that's the exact same tune switch. Uh, this was a different poll, though. But I wanted to show you what it was at. So, this was 948 horsepower and a peak torque of 890 foot-pounds of torque right there. So, then we went down to uh, detuning this engine. And then, so, key switch position uh, 3. So, this is key switch 4. This is key switch position three, is 866 foot-pounds of torque, just a little bit less, and horsepower was 904. That's reasonable, you know, a little bit of change. So then we go back into it and kill this thing even more to where our key switch position two, which is 749 foot-pounds of torque, and I manipulated the curve around just a little bit to throw some timing back into it, on the right up here to get a little more horsepower so there's all sorts of manipulation you can do with things if you really work at it and, and know what you're doing uh, 888 horsepower but the real deal of exactly where the customer actually wants us at is right here where we're making uh, 732 foot pounds of torque and this is pretty hard to get that down that much from 890 down to 732 and uh their peak horsepower was right here at 737. So that's 737 from 948. That's all with doing these key switch tunes. Just turn in the key. Click, click, click. So whatever tune you want to do. Really cool deal. Uh, I think that's pretty interesting. And that's exactly what the customer wanted. Never change boost. Uh, you know, I mean, everything is right here at, uh, you know, seven and a half pounds of seven and a half to eight pounds of boost. Kind of depends on how good the air is or whatnot. Um, but let me show you something else here. Let me take the camera off. All right. I also want to show you the difference in between and how to read a spark plug. So I'm going to take the spark plug right out of this motor. And uh, bear with me because I'm sitting here holding the camera all at the same time. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to do that all one-handed. So I'll take this plug out. I'm going to show you how to read a spark plug because it's kind of interesting example on uh, um, an ill-tuned engine to a well-tuned engine. Okay, so let me get these crud out of the way. This, that's a good looking plug. Let me get good. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple things. You're reading the strap, and we're still safe on timing here. I could probably put a little more timing in it. Now, some of you might look at it and go, oh my gosh, the, the porcelain's dead white. It's just dead lean. No, that is a really nice looking plug because you read the porcelain down at the very bottom. They can't see it on the camera here but I'm gonna show you a little something different. Now, this was after I just ran it. That's just that 950 horsepower pull. Now this is a real ill running plug. Now you look, you can see the, the strap is sootier. Everything's a little sootier. See the little carbon on the, uh, black carbon up on the plug. That's when this thing makes 732 horsepower, or yeah, so, yeah whatever it was, 730 some odd horsepower and only 730 foot-pounds of torque. But I'm gonna do something here. I've cut this apart so I can explain this to you really well. So let me set this down. Oh, sorry about that, I had to put the camera down. So anyways, I've cut the, the porcelain out of the plug, all right? So, you see this, how sooty that is? That. This won't foul out or won't run poorly or anything, but that is ill-tuned. If you cut your spark plugs apart and you see that much black going all the way up it, it's bad. No bueno. All right, 
What you want to see is the leaner it is and the better the engine is running, you'll see this black line go down, 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 down. And you'd like to see that a nice safe spot is like a hundred thousandths from that bottom right there up. So this whole thing will be white all the way down to about where my fingernail is right there. About a hundred thousandths from the bottom. Now that's a rich lean condition, okay? That's rich. Rich is right there. Leaner is as that carbon is burned off and going all the way down. Now this is also has a little bit, that, or does have a corresponding uh, thing with timing, because timing affects that line also. And we can see here on the strap, you can get a better picture, there we go. A little harder to see. But the carbon line on the strap is about right there where my finger is, up to the bend. Now, when timing, when there's not enough timing in a motor, that line goes up, 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 like that. And as there's more timing, more heat in the, in the chamber, this line goes down, 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 okay? So this is pretty high, right about, you know, right about there where my fingernail is. And if we look at the plug that I just took out, we can see that that timing light is really nice and clear and is, way, is quite a bit lower right down there where my fingernail is now, just off the base of the thread. And you can get it leaner, you could, or leaner and more timing. You could run this thing down if you're making more and more cylinder pressure in it, or cylinder temperature, and do that. And if we cut this plug apart for you, you'd see that that porcelain is white all the way down to the very bottom, about a hundred thousandths from the very bottom right there. So that's how you read spark plugs. And no matter what numbers say, I am telling you a secret. Whatever the numbers say, I don't care. This tells you everything that's going on in an engine. Numbers are just for reference. AFR, timing, I don't give a crud what it is. You're reading a spark plug, you're seeing what's going on in a combustion chamber and if they're making horsepower. So anyways, good tech for you there on how to read a spark plug and how to tune your engine. Remember, the numbers don't mean crap. What matters is, what's the spark plug look like? What's the tune look like? Is it making horsepower or not? That's all there is that matters. So anyways, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.